It took $150,000 to fund the mural, and now it sits lonely above the Richard Curry Center's performance gym. The reanimation of Fred Ross's 1948 mural, Destruction of War and Rebuilding the World Through Education, was placed in the Curry Center in June of 2011. Why it's not the original work is a long story. St. Thomas University's art professor, William Forstall, spearheaded the reanimation and pitched it to several organizations, but it was hard to find a venue that had enough space for the massive mural. I just kept driving by every day the Richard Curry building as it was under construction. I thought, you know, maybe there's a space in there. So I bounced the idea off UNB, and um, to be absolutely honest, uh, they were very, very uh, receptive of the idea, and they became the sponsors of the project. And, uh, and then the project just started rolling along from there, and I uh, went down to St. John. The original two-panel mural was lost in the 70s after an adventurous history. The Fredericton High School commissioned it in 1946 for $700. It was conceived as a tribute for the students who died in World War II. The paintings were taken down in the 50s due to renovations. For the next few decades, the painting went in and out of storage. It even wound up as library flooring for a bit. After a failed attempt to renovate the painting in 1976, it was never seen again. Since then, it has developed near mythic status. Forrestal thought of the project in the spring of 2010 and then sought to get Fred Ross involved. With a team of three apprentices, Forrestal and Ross finished the project in just over a year. But now the name Fred Ross doesn't ring a bell to the staff at the Curry Center. Visitors don't seem to have much interest either. Right, uh, I've probably written about 10 exams in that part of the building and I've not once noticed it. Although there's a small sign pointing to the gym, there's no marking outside the actual door to the mural. Unless the gym is in use, the door is locked, limiting access to the painting. The direct door to the mural is usually locked too. Instead of being displayed in the lobby, like the painting of Richard Curry, the reanimation remains in its unappreciated corner. Although the paintings aren't getting much attention at the Curry Center gym, there are no plans to move them. For Stu Journalism, I'm Robert Johnson.